It's so easy to be distracted, especially in today's world, making it increasingly challenging to stay focused on our responsibilities and obligations. Our smartphones, social media accounts, sports events, television shows, news updates, ever-changing trends, and the tumultuous world of politics all compete for our attention and time. But is that where our attention should be? These distractions are keeping us from fulfilling our duties diligently, leading us to missed opportunities and unfulfilled potential. Hello and welcome to my channel, This Mama's Faith. It is my prayer today that after you watch this video, you leave feeling inspired by God's word and motivated to serve others. My name is Tabitha Kelly and I am a wife of 11 years, a homeschool mama to six, a lover of coffee and dresses, but most of all, a daughter of Christ. Today, I'm taking you along with me as I do some homemaking and share with you what God has laid on my heart this week. Please consider subscribing. Today I have some homemaking to do, and while I work, I hope this inspires you to get something done in your home. While I'm working today, I am listening to M is for Mama on Audible, and as part of this video, I'd like to give away a hard copy of this book to one of you. Check the description box on how you can enter. I'm also using timers as a way to motivate myself to move from one room to the next in a timely fashion and not get too hung up on the details because done is better than perfect. When we allow ourselves to be constantly pulled in different directions by all of the possible distractions, we risk losing sight of our true purpose and the blessings that may come our way. In the midst of the noise and chaos, it becomes crucial to stay disciplined in navigating through the clutter to focus on what truly matters. By recognizing the impact of these distractions on our lives and taking intentional steps to minimize their influence, we can create space for God's blessings to flow into our lives unimpeded. Psalms 512 says, For you bless the righteous person, Lord. You surround him with favor as with a shield. Living in a digital age, it's easy to fall into the trap of seeking connection through screens and devices. However, true connection is found in meaningful interactions with people around us, in face-to-face -face conversations, and in shared experiences. While technology can facilitate communication, it should not replace the depth and authenticity of real human connection. It is essential to remember that we have the power to choose where we direct our attention and energy. By finding a balance between staying informed and by nurturing our personal relationships with those in our home, we can have more meaningful and fulfilling lives.
You see, we were not meant to live our lives with a keen awareness of all that's going wrong in the world. We were not meant to know the details of thousands of people's lives. We were not meant to be staring at a screen for connection every day. As human beings, we were not designed by God to carry the weight of the world's problems on our shoulders. Our minds and hearts are not meant to be constantly bombarded with the endless stream of negative news and information that floods our screens. Instead of being consumed by the troubles of thousands, we are meant to focus on our own well-being and the well-being of those closest to us. The devil would love nothing more than all of the mothers of this world to be completely obsessed with what's going on, rather than what's happening inside the walls of their own home. You weren't charged with caring for the entire nation. You were charged with caring for your husband and children. Focus on what's in front of you and don't get distracted. Home is your greatest calling and there is lots to do. John 16.33 says, I have said this to you, that in me you may have peace. In the world you have tribulation, but be of good cheer, I have overcome the world. It is not cruel or cold to detach from the world so that you can accomplish your duties well. In fact, it's the opposite. It's what we've been bound by God to do. Detaching from the world in order to focus on fulfilling your duties is not a sign of cruelty or coldness. Rather, it's a deliberate act of dedication to your responsibilities. By prioritizing your tasks and obligations that you have for your family, you are demonstrating a commitment to excellence that God calls you to. This practice is not about isolation or indifference, but about channeling your energy and attention towards what truly matters. Jesus told us in Luke 13, 24, that to be saved, we must strive to enter through the narrow gate. And for where your treasure is, there will your heart be. Luke 12, 34. In Christianity, there is a recognition of the importance of detachment from the world in order to live out God's purpose for us. By detaching from distractions and unnecessary influences, we create space for deeper prayer and connection with God. 
This enables us to approach our responsibilities with clarity, focus, and a sense of divine guidance. Detaching from the world and focusing on what truly matters will lead to a more meaningful and purposeful way of living where your actions are aligned with your values and your intentions are guided by the will of God. So homemakers, don't get distracted. I want to thank you for watching my video today and if it's blessed you in some way i'd love for you to leave your thoughts with me down in the comments subscribe for new videos each week all about christian living and how we can glorify god in our simple everyday